Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. So today I have a sort of a first impression slash review of the Fenty Beauty Haul. Obviously that's kind of what everyone's been talking about, well from a couple of months ago but even more recently because Rihanna launched her beauty line. I think, well I think it was on Friday, at least in Harvey Nichols here in the UK, it was on Friday and I actually went to the store to um and, and bought a few stuff and um, yeah so I just basically want to show you what I got and what I thought and try on the products as well so I don't normally do impulsive buying like this I usually like to wait until I've watched a couple of reviews online before sort of making my decision only because I feel like with beauty stuff if you buy it and you try it on and you don't like it for whatever reason it's kind of hard at that point to return however what made me want to purchase Rihanna stuff is as soon as I heard that she had 40 foundation shades and I saw the models in her ad and some of them were darker than me I was just like do you know what this might be actually worth checking out so when I went into the store I ended up buying six different products and one of the things was the beauty sponge which I didn't plan to buy because in my mind I was like I already have beauty a beauty blender or well, several beauty blenders and why would I need an extra one however when I went to the store the lady tested it out the one that she had she actually watched it and tested it out on my skin and it felt so soft so it looks something like this it's quite small it has the flat side and the curvy side as well so it allows you to you know use it in different ways you could either flat side I presume would be like a use as an under eye and the other puffy side could be used around your entire face but um it's extremely soft i did try it on the store so i know for a fact and i tried it on again yesterday i've just washed it um i washed it yesterday after using it so it's quite thing and washes quite well as well considering how dark i am i think this was about 12 or 13 pounds i can't remember exactly it is quite pricey compared to the beauty blender but again i know some people have said they like have some people have likened it to the beauty blender in terms of te texture but honestly i don't for me it's not the same it is a lot softer and a lot bouncier and from trying it, i did find that it absorbed a lot of the product compared to the beauty blender but the next item that i got is a foundation and my shade is for i think it's 480 oh, yeah my shade is 480 and it comes in a container like this and it's 32 mil for 26 27 pounds which is cheaper than my usual foundation so i normally use the estee Lauder double wear foundation and that comes in 30 mil and it cost me i think about 32 pounds so you know this is quite um this is quite impressive personally as far as the price is concerned i think it's okay because it falls within the range of what i normally use anyways so next item is the gloss bomb so it's just this um lip gloss and to be fair i was quite disappointed because when i saw it i thought it would leave a bit of a tint on my lips when i applied it but it didn't it um it's quite clear so the whole idea apparently was so that anyone can use it can suit any skin tone and you can wear it actually on top of another lip color if you wanted to which you know i get the point but i ended up buying it anyways just because i don't own a lip gloss myself so i just thought you know perfect opportunity to buy one and another item that i picked up was the um blotting papers and it came in something like this so it packaged this is the packaging for that and this is actually oh, how it looks like so actually it comes in a separate roll which I've already fitted inside and this casing and the whole idea is that you can carry it in your small person walk around normally I use the one from Bobby Brown and that's what I've been using for like two three years now and it works fine for me but I was like why not try something else however I do regret buying this product because I don't know whether it's that I don't know how to use it very well I'm curious to see how other people use it or I might actually take it back to the store and ask them how to actually put it in properly and roll it up because you know it does I'm sorry I put it in and it does roll out fine but tearing it out is a problem if I do this it keeps coming out or if I try to tear it up it keeps coming out but anyway I don't know I'm just gonna take it back and ask them you know to put it in properly if I didn't do so myself so the next item that I picked up is a concealer in the shade cocoa so that was actually matched to my foundation so the advisors have like this um, it's like a palette it's like a color palette that sort of matches different highlighters and concealers and um, contours as well to a specific foundation so it's shade so I was matched with the concealer Coco and it looks something like this that is a lot of product I think this cost about 21 pounds if I'm not mistaken that's quite 
I mean, it's not a lot, but it's it's a good amount, I think, for the price. It's not too bad. I was quite disappointed, though, that I was not able to find a contour shade because I was looking forward to purchasing um, the Trio matchsticks that she had because that was, I think you get three of them for £42, whereas one of these matchsticks is 21 So you get better value for money when you purchase the Trio set that she's formed. However, her darkest shade was Espresso. And that that did nothing for my skin to be honest with you it didn't even show up on the contour. I was quite disappointed I appreciate that this is her first launch so I'm not gonna say oh it should have been there because to be fair she did do quite a good job when it came to um, the darker shades so the deeper shades in the foundation however for the next launch it would be nice to see you know another contour that could actually cater for us deeper girls so the last item that I picked up is a matchstick and it's actually a creamy highlighter it comes in packaging like this similar to the other ones and this is what it looks like so this is in the color rum and it seems to be more or less the same quantity as the concealer so I'm gonna go ahead and apply the makeup to my face and show you guys how it looks oh just another thing for you to know the matchsticks are actually magnetic and the whole idea behind this is that you know if you have your contour your concealer and highlighter you could sort of pack them together and it would be easy for you to walk around with them and i think that that idea is absolutely genius if you're like me and you always lose stuff then having you know a bunch of items that stick together to form something bigger makes it easy for you to find them so i've gone ahead and applied my primer i normally use the um bobby brown skin smooth perfection perfecta do you know I, I forget the name it's so long so personally I wouldn't use um, her beauty sponge to apply the foundation only because when I did it yesterday I realized that the um, sponge soaked a lot of the foundation specifically I think because um, the foundation I'm gonna I'm gonna show you is quite runny so if I do this you can see it's just going down my arm my hand is it my arm my hand <laughs> it's just running down so it is quite runny and I feel like this absorbs a lot of the product which obviously you don't want to lose product to the sponge <laughs> at least some is gonna go but not a lot of it so instead I'm gonna use my beauty blender to apply the product on so I'm just gonna take that off my arm I keep saying arm my hand and just dab it I'll start off by applying it on this side just so that we can almost to do like a sense check to verify whether it is indeed my shape. So as you can see the product is drying quite rapidly which is very different from what I'm used to. With other products, at least with the Estee Lauder one, it's a lot thicker and I find that I have to um, blend it quite a bit. It takes a while for everything to sort of, not dry, but to sort of, I don't know, abs get absorbed into my skin. However, with this one, it goes quite quickly. <laughs> I've applied it to um, the first thing I would say is that it is a bit redder than my actual um, complexion as you can see however I think it's a pretty it's quite it's, it's a pretty close match I think it's hard to get your exact complexion the only way you can get it if you're a lucky or if B um, the product was actually tested on your skin tone I think even though we might fall within similar ranges we are all that we are not exactly the same which is normal so um yeah I'm st so yeah i'm still happy with this i'm gonna go ahead and apply the rest apply the product to the rest of my face so i apologize my sd card got full and i didn't realize it so i had to change it and put a new one and I finished doing the makeup. Was it on this side? Yeah, it was this side. Finished doing the makeup on this side. So, um, yeah. So far, I think I like it. As you can see, it's very lightweight, and that's what it said it was. The plan is one of those foundations that is buildable. So, if you wanted a full full coverage, you'd have to, you know, just apply another layer. So, I think I did two pumps. One on this side, and the other, another one on this side. So, when I say two pumps, I mean it was like a full-on, like I pressed it all the way down to get 
the maximum amount of product I can get with that one press so yeah if you're going for like an everyday look or natural look then a one-time pump is fine for a side however if you're going for you know a bit of a glam or night out or full-on coverage you may have to pump a few times so that's the only thing I'm gonna say but other than that I really don't mind the outcome of it it does look like my skin um, um, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and apply a bit more just to cover up the sections because I can still see um, some spots on my face so I'll just go in again with the foundation so this is the look with the foundation I really like it um, I think it has smoothed out my face which is what a foundation is meant to do it dries quite quickly which I don't mind I mean it depends if you want to dot the foundation all over your face before actually smoothing it out or blending it that might be a bit of a problem so I would recommend kind of going in and then putting on your face and blending it out before going in again it feels very lightweight as well especially coming from using the Estee Lauder double wear which is a lot thicker so this feels like something I think I definitely want to wear on and it also has a fragrance to it. It has a bit of a, a fragrance smell, not too perfumey, so it's not as strong as a perfume, but it has a bit of a scent to it that I have never got with any of my other foundations. And I've used Lancome, Estee Lauder, and MAC before, and I've never really got this. So I think this is nice. This is not overbearing. If it was, I would be the first to tell you because I am allergic to perfumes it gives me it brings out my sinuses and other extra problems so anything that has a very strong um, fragrance to it I tend to shy away from so yeah so I'm gonna carry on and apply the concealer under my eye <laughs> application I will be using the Fenty Beauty sponge I have already dampened it so as you can see the concealer blended quite quickly into my skin which I think it's perfect particularly for those of us working girls because if you're hurrying to go to work if you're late to work you don't want to spend a lot of time trying to blend out your concealer so having a product like this I think it's perfect so on the initial application it did tug on my skin a little bit however as I kept going in it sort of melted so I think it's one of those things that if it gets cold maybe the product does get a bit stiff however as you keep applying it on your body it it, it starts melting to your skin and it becomes a lot easier to apply it onto it so I'll just go ahead and do this other side I would say if you're not sure on, on how much you should apply initially, start a little bit and blend out and see how it does. Um, I know at this point, just because yesterday, I, like I mentioned, I did try it on. So I sort of know that, you know, I need to put a little bit in there, a little bit more than usual. Look at that. That has blended in so nicely. I haven't even done a lot to it at all seriously it's just yeah it's done a great job I'm really pleased with it so I'm gonna go ahead and highlight the rest of my face and then come back seriously it applies on my skin like butter it is so ridiculous I can't even imagine this is so amazing like Rihanna's done a fantastic job I think so this is how it looks on its own i think it's all coming together you can even see a little bit of a contour line after I've done the highlighting beneath my cheeks. You can sort of see a mini contour line that's created from my own shade, which again is not bad, I guess. If you wanted to do what they call, I think it's called reverse contouring, then you may not, you know, might not be too upset that I don't have my shade. However, you know, this is still really good. I like it. So I'm just using the Sasha Buttercup Setting Powder to set my highlight. And then I'm going to contour my face. Oh, I think I put a lot. <laughs> that was a lot but 
we would make it work. In, so in terms of application and feel, personally this is much better than the Beauty Blender. Like I'm not even being funny about it. Well, well with the application, probably the credit is not entirely that of the sponge the makeup itself sorry the foundation itself is such a good product but as far as feeling on your skin this feels incredibly like i don't know it's so it's it's so soft like you literally have to try to understand it i don't think it's something that i can easily describe i don't even think i need a contour for this seriously i think i'm done oh my goodness i can't do without contour <laughs> So for my contour, I normally use the Fashion Fair in the color Teak. Yeah, it's good in the color Teak and it's like the Fashion Fair foundation stick because again, this is one of the few, um, it's one of the few lines Fashion Fair that does a contour stick that is, well, foundation stick, a contour or foundation stick that is dark enough. <laughs> see how dark that went like seriously Rihanna this is what we need we need something this dark for those of us who are in the you know the deep range the darker range of the deep spectrum yes but people who are like 420 440 were able to use espresso as their contour shade then imagine me who's like four six shades darker I mean like 480 and that's one shade before the final shade which was I think 490 like seriously what are we you know we don't have anything but but again I'm not too upset about it just because I appreciate the fact that you know this is kind of her first launch and you can't always get everything you know during the first try or the first launch however I'm hoping in the near future she would you know expand at least the contour range and the lipstick as well I'm looking forward to that. So far I love everything that I see the look is coming together. I have two more products to put on and then we will be done. So now I'm gonna do my highlighter and again as I mentioned before this is in the color rum. I'm just gonna swatch it on my hand so you can see how that looks like. See how pretty that color is. It is so pretty. I feel like applying it to my lips. Hmm. <laughs> Actually that was a joke. But it's so pretty and this is what I want to put on my face. So Oh, see how pretty that color is. Can you see that? Oh, that's so pretty. has blended out quite nicely oh I like this I think this is perfect again for an everyday look so the next step is the lipstick as I mentioned before even though it has this color which is like a nudish pink it does come out of, it does come out clear on you know at least on my lips it comes out clear and I'll just demonstrate on the back of my hand so that you can see what it looks like can you even see that you can't even see that that's how it's over here <laughs> seriously that's how clear it comes out you actually cannot see anything so for yeah it, it comes out clear there's there's no color to it so the idea is that you'd have to wear a lip color either you wear it on its own or you put a lip color color underneath and then you put that on top so the lip pencil I've just used is chestnut by Mac and the lip stick the liquid lipstick I'm gonna use I've actually just picked it up in TK Maxx and it's by a brand called beauty concepts it doesn't actually have a lip name or lip name color but yeah I just saw it in I liked it so I thought why not so I think by now my lipstick is dried I'm just gonna go ahead and add the lip gloss to it
it has a massive applicator which I like notice how I just put that in one go and literally it's I don't even have to go and take a second round honestly this is really good yeah I'm done <laughs> that was easy this is the final look I don't think there's anything left to be said I think the makeup speaks for itself Rihanna has done an amazing job with this first launch it is I can't literally I am so anxious for her next launch like what's she gonna do next I bet it's gonna be lipsticks and I'm so looking forward to purchasing them again like I mentioned before I don't usually just go out and buy a lot of beauty products at once because even though I'm a beauty enthusiast I don't you know I I wouldn't spend my money like that unless I know I am getting really good stuff but there was just something about her I don't know maybe it was the advertisement or I don't or the hype around it you know it's not it wasn't the hype because there was a hype around KKW and I still didn't feel feel the need to actually go and purchase it but there was something about Rihanna's you know whole campaign and everything that made me want to purchase it and I'm glad that I did you know just a few so my only regret in everything that I bought would be the um, beauty sorry the blotting paper simply because you know I I already have one it's, it's about the same price as the Bobbi Brown one I think it's just two pounds more but yeah and the whole application of rolling out and cutting doesn't cut properly and that's just a little bit i mean if it works properly then i think it's a good idea or a good concept but it's you know if it's a hit or miss then basically what's the point i'm better off sticking to my bobby brown one um foundation obviously i was able to find my match you know it works perfectly for me i'm curious to see how the four so i had the 480 i'm curious to see how the four 70 would be on me just because the 480 and 470 I think they're both neutral tones and I think that is where I lie more of a neutral tone rather than a cool or a um, warm so I'm not particularly yellow but and I'm not red either I'm sort, I'm sort of midway between however as you saw when I put on the foundation it did look a bit redder so I'm wondering whether the 470 would be a bit more of an exact match or if it's just gonna be lighter so yeah, I might go back into store and take a sample if I can. This is a fantastic range. I am curious, the next, I think, before she even launches the next line, I might go ahead and purchase a bit more highlighters because I really do like this one. It's perfect for an everyday look. It, it doesn't seem to show up that much. Let me see if, if I use the light from my phone, if it would make a difference. Yeah, so when I put the light on here, I think you can actually see can actually see you can actually see a lot more of the of the um, highlighter yes so yeah it is a pretty highlighter and I'm quite curious about the other ones that she has so let me know what you think about the Fenty Beauty line have you bought it already are you planning to buy it if you have bought it what were your favorite products which ones didn't you really like as much and if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet see you in my next video Bye-bye.